new Christmas and Hanukkah, we all gather around the tables. You want to make sure it looks as good as it can. So we've got some tips for your holiday tablescape right after the break. And how about this? Look at this beautiful table. Uh, the decorations are up. The presents soon will be wrapped. And, uh, well, everything is really about the dinner table, especially this Thanksgiving. So let's begin by making sure that your table looks amazing no matter which holiday you're celebrating. Designer Yvette Craddock is here with some festive holiday tablescapes. And yes. I have documented on the show many times I'm a terrible cook, but we are hosting Thanksgiving. So if the table looks nice, that'll make things go a little bit it better, makes, right? It, that makes it go well for you. you can <laughs> always uh, endorse other people and get them on board to yeah. cook for you. That's my plan. But if you present a beautiful table setting, it's such an invitation to all your guests. They're welcome and we're here to connect and bond over celebrating the season. Love it. And it yes. shows that you put some effort into the presentation. Absolutely. So talk to me about this table that we would obviously love to replicate on Thursday if we could. And that's one thing I do is that I always show pieces of elements that most people have in their homes. Okay. So it's like rearranging the furniture you just repurpose these items but this collection is just so artfully designed oh, it presents a season through the eyes of a bountiful and colorful harvest with food and foliage and flowers so you have just a different interpretation of the season nice. which I love and then I pulled out colors from the plates as you can see throughout mm -hmm. with the napkins the glassware and then of course this gorgeous brown background I've repeated that with these vases beautiful and I love what you did yeah. in here with the pine cones and pumpkin yes That's pretty simple yes, and acorns just put in the seasons uh, food and and what you find on the ground walking if you go up Gorgeous. north that's what I do and I just bring it to the table and present it in a creative fashion. I love it Yvette and I do see that you have place cards here yes. so do you do you recommend that for hosting? I do okay. I like that and sometimes people can you can fill out their name and they can decide where they want to sit or if you have some dissenting relatives uh -huh. or guests I go. Okay, you can intentionally <laughs> position them at different parts of the table. So Yvette you've taken us through yes. a gorgeous Thanksgiving and now da 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 we're here in the winter. We are in winter, winter wonderland, wonderland at Christmas. Beautiful. And this is something really simple and elegant. Most people have a tree, angels. I just love snow globes. So we just bring these things from a mantle to the table ah. and then dress it up with uh, glassware, a gorgeous charger, more formal presentation. Yes. And then I create little fun place cards and I'll bring in ornaments on those as oh, well. Oh, that's beautiful. So. And I think you're seeing people do this more, the all white, the, the, yes. the glitter and sparkly it's yes. just it's so chic yes it is and plus most people have white dishware yeah. anyway that they use throughout the year so again presented in a new fashion if you're gonna invest in something that's holiday specific what do you think it should be oh glassware okay I love mm -hmm. glassware because if you I, first of all I find dishware sustainable I use it all year long for dinners and just a breakfast everyday eating so I love investing in really elegant glassware okay it just gives everything that you use on an ordinary basis a new polish I love so it um, okay last but not least yes. let's celebrate Hanukkah this looks yes. fantastic yes mazel tov I found these plates they say mazel tov in Hebrew so for your friends that uh, celebrate uh, ah. usually most people at least my friends and family or diverse face yes and this is a great way you can even integrate these two and everyone will feel represented at the table and then I just added these crystal globes oh. and another pop of cobalt which is a vase I already had a menorah if you don't have it maybe one of your guests have mm -hmm. but they're affordable you can buy that and again just add in the colors to the glassware through uh, chargers through placemats whatever you have to create something that's completely elegant so pretty most of us would uh, love to present this but then we wouldn't know actually what you're gonna eat off of right that's the challenge right <laughs> so here I'm a plate stacker yes. well, I love plates and they can go to the ceiling but always stack according to the number of courses you are serving okay and always use your utensils out in so of course your your uh, flatware would represent the number of courses, which also correlate to the number of plates you present on the I table. I love it. She makes it sound so easy. <laughs> it is all so elegant and beautiful. Thank Yvette you. Craddock, and you have your own design business yes, here in town. Yes, Yvette Craddock Designs. You can find me across so social media and, and look at my blog. Well, happy holidays to happy you. Thank you so much. You. Thank you. Yeah, what do you think? All we need is some good food. There you go. If your dining room table looks that good, who cares how the food tastes? Exactly. Good stuff, Olivia. Thank you.